Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to Train Simulator. And today we are taking a little bit of mixed freight uh, to a couple of various locations. So today, the first our first stop is East Vic Track Number Two, and it is how far away is it? It's uh, 9.61 miles away. Uh, we're currently cruising at uh, 50 miles an hour, trying to maintain our speed here a little bit uh, between 50 and 55 here. And uh, we're using uh, the train we're using today is. Uh, it's a, I believe it's the same style as the uh, Union Pacific one we used before, just a different color. So this is just the the black version of it, and uh, because there are a few different versions of this train, so there's a weathered version as well, and uh, a couple other ones. So let's put up to 25% throttle and uh, continue on our way here. This has to be my favorite view. You just get to you get to see so much more, and you get to watch the train go by. I don't know. If I were sitting outside in real life, that's kind of how you'd end up seeing the train, right? The only difference is here is like when you see the train, it goes, you know, it goes by you and you get to see it go by you again and again and again, I guess. So as you can see, I've already started this particular journey. Uh, I'm not too far. I'm not too far into it already. Uh, I'm only about a few, like five minutes or so. Uh, it's a fairly long trip as far as I understand. So a few miles isn't going to make a big difference in this context. So. All right, so we're coming up 8.5 miles to go, and we need to drop off. I think this is all our cars, basically, at this next stop here. But this is what it says. You're midway through a run of Barstow to Thorn. A scheduled stop was made at Hellendale to allow priority train to pass, and you're set to continue. Your next stop is East Victoriaville, where your current freight needs to be delivered and new freight cars picked up. So there we are. So that's where we're going right now. Uh, that's our current destination at the moment. So we will see how that turns out. It's funny. What's interesting about this game is that um, the amount of money you can actually spend on it is quite uh, significant. Um, if you really want to, of course. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, you can just get the base game. But I think the base game is uh, somewhat limited uh, in comparison to uh, other games potential DLCs you can get and whatnot. So here we're coming up to the hill. It's going up an incline a little bit, 0.6%. I don't know if we're going to increase in speed still. Well, it looks like we are still, slowly, which is good. I don't see any lights. Oh, that's yellow up there, so we probably should slow down a little bit. Let's uh, throttle back here a little bit. And uh, just slow down here a little bit, because if memory serves, what we need to do is, if we are coming up to a yellow light, we need to slow down to a cautionary speed. Uh, now, we'll see how that how well that works, but I'm not sure. Yellow and green. I think we can still go forward. We just need to slow down. That's the only thing we need to do in this context. So uh, We're going uphill. And we're only doing 26. So let's go forward at uh, a much slower speed, maybe like 10 miles an hour, just to see. I still don't know all the rules yet, and that's kind of frustrating sometimes because um, what happens is this is yellow and green. So technically, there's another train like ahead of us somewhere, and that's why we need to be careful here, which means we can still go forward, but not at the full speed, basically. So as far as I understand, at least, I should really go and look those up. All right, let's see what happens. So if we see the emergency brake come up, we'll know we've made a mistake. Nope, we're good. Okay. So as long as we maintain our, maintain this slower speed, we should be okay for the time being. So I don't know how far. What's the, uh, we don't have a schedule for time. Okay, good. Should be all right. So where is our next stop? Where are we? Uh, so we are way up here, and we need to. Doesn't show any more lights on here, not for a while yet. I don't know if it actually shows yellow or not, but if that's actually what's happening ahead of us or not. That's one thing I'm not sure about. It kind of adjusts sometimes, so I guess we can speed up now. We'll go to 50% throttle and see what happens here. Let's go ahead and honk our horn. Just so people know we're coming, right? Jeez. It's funny, often when you're on the train, well, close to a train, you'll hear 
you hear the horn go off and then what will happen is you'll hear have the Doppler effect so as it drives by you uh, you'll hear the uh, <laughs> you hear the horn go anyways one second grab a quick sip of water here Oh, good thing we honked our horn there. We went right over a crossing. Didn't even realize that. All right, so we're still increasing in speed a little bit here. Uh, we should be okay for the next foreseeable time. Um, that's... Oh, so we're coming up to this area down here. So this is why... So there's a freight train on the same track as us. That's why we're having to slow down. Gotcha. So let's keep an eye out for that next set of lights because we're definitely going to have to slow down then. Because <laughs> we don't want to hit, have a head-on collision with a train, oh, which would be kind of rotten in reality. Oh, is that it right there? Yes, it is. All right, let's take the throttle off. No throttle off. And uh, hit up the brakes a little bit. And uh, we'll just do a slow stop. Hopefully we don't stop with the... Uh, with the train over the tracks we shouldn't at least uh, because we need to stop at that particular light because if you look carefully it's red and yellow so that means we probably shouldn't go forward here and what we'll do is we'll we're waiting for the other train here so this is where the other train is so when we stop here we should have the other train go forward I suspect uh, are we past that little road ray there looks like we are are we no, not yet. Close to it. So right now we're just coasting for a little bit, getting close to this light up here, and we're just waiting for the tail end of our train to go over the tracks. Like, could you imagine if a train like stopped on the tracks? It happens from time to time, but definitely not an optimal situation. Like, if you were a driver on that road, you would probably be pretty annoyed, to say the least. That's green and red, so maybe what we're hap what's, do what's happening is we're switching here? I don't know. I suspect that's what's happening, but it, uh, let's see here. We are on what side here? We're on this side. And it looks like we're going to go straight through, but that's not obvious. So I guess that means like going straight. We'll see what happens. It's red on the top, though. So I can, I'm not sure if this is going to switch us over to the left or not. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, let's see. We should be able to tell, actually. Yeah, so we're switched over there. It looks like we were going... Let's just stop here just in case. Uh, and just keep an eye on that light to see if it changes at all. Because I think... I don't need, I'm not sure. I don't think we need to stop, but... I'm just being cautious, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Can we call forward? No, we don't even need to call forward. So I guess as long as we proceed slowly, we should be okay. So let's just put a nice slow increase here and see what happens. So we're going to see what happens here because I'm kind of curious now. So we have a red light and a green light there. So I guess what it's telling us is we can't go forward to on this track, but looks like we can go to the other side here, so we're gonna see what happens. If we just go nice and slow. And as long as we go slow over this little section, I think we'll be okay. No, we don't have any calling feature. We don't can't call to go forward or anything yet, so I think that means the track's set for us. We don't know red we'll find out if that goes if that goes off that means we should have gone uh, we shouldn't have stopped okay good yeah we're good to go that's what I thought was gonna happen based on what I could see at least I'm like well based on what I can tell here it looks like we're gonna go that way so as long as we stay on this track we should be okay uh, but that's why we needed to slow down there, because if we, if we were to take that little section right there at a much faster speed, it would be, you know, bad news bears. So that's what the Union Pacific normally looks like right there. That's what we normally have. So as you can see, it's very similar, just different colors slightly. All right. 
let's increase our speed here and uh, head out. I think we're good to go. Uh, center on the player here. So I don't think we have any other track. We don't have any other stops until we get into the station here, which is uh, East Victoria. Oh, this is the Victoria ones right here, I guess. Nope, where's the task? Oh, it's even further than that. But we'll need to be careful down there. Because I imagine if we try to go down there too fast, it'd be uh, not good. That's a pretty big train, though. You see these double things in Canada every now and then on some of the large freight lines. Obviously, that's in the United States as well. You see those uh, double setups like that. And that's usually, I believe, when you have something like that, that's usually because uh, it's uh, a relatively level and not fast turns, I imagine. Because if you had like some fast turns with one of those things, it would just be crazy. All right. It's funny, you do get a couple like at lag spikes here and then. I don't know why, but it's like, I don't know what it's doing. Like I've closed all the other programs. It's, it's things it's doing something. So I'm not exactly sure what that something is, but it's definitely doing it. So, oh goodness. Let's get our screenshot here. I don't know. I like that screenshot feature on this. What does the pause do? Does that just pause the scenario? I guess so. All right, here's another light coming up. Can't see it yet. That probably means we need to slow down. I'm guessing it's going to change to 30. Or maybe it's 30 in the next sec section of track. I don't know yet. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Um, don't know what this says yet. Ooh, What does that say there? I can't tell. Okay, if you're going off to the left, it looks like that's where you need to slow down. To 15. Yeah, that's what it means. And then if you're going off to the right, it's 55. Okay. It's cool. I understand that. All right. Where's this light up here? Uh, that's what we need to be careful about is that light. Let's just uh, slow down here again. And what do we got? Green followed by red. So that means we can go through, I believe. As long as we go through slowly. Actually, it's not even on our lane. Oh, no, it is. Where is it? No, that's for the siding over there. Yeah, we should be okay. I don't think we're changing lanes or anything like that. Or changing, uh, I'm not sure if you can call it lanes. No emergency lights, so we're okay. That's how I judge these things in reality. There we go. Let's speed up here. Let's hope we don't change lanes, actually. Let's just take a quick little peek. Uh, center on the player. Nope, we're going straight through, so we're okay. Just wanted to double check that. That would have been a derailment right there. Perfect. It's funny, I feel like I should get a, a railway conductor's hat or something for when I ever play this game. Because I often wear my John Deere hat when I play uh, Farm Sims, so it seems like it might be a a good idea to have a uh, good idea to have. Well, it's a good little picture there too. Uh, it seems like a good, it would be a funny idea to have a, uh, a railway conductor's hat too. I'm sure you can get them easily enough. Let's pull out that field of view there a little bit. Nice. And we can actually change those, but we don't need to. Very cool. I like the scenery in some of these places, like. Get to see some areas you wouldn't normally see. Like, I have no idea what that is. I guess it's supposed to be a mill of sorts. Which is kind of cool. Highway over there. I wonder if there's any kind of extra texture packs you can get for this game to, like, make it look even nicer out there. As far as I understand, they are trying to improve the, uh, the engine itself. Oh, we need to slow down. What? No, we're on the... Which one are we on here? The middle one. Yes, we do need to slow down here. So let's do a full service brakes, just so we slow down nicely. Got a little uh, machine there, or truck there for uh, telephone poles it looks like. So I believe this means we have to proceed with caution. I'm actually kind of getting the, uh, I feel like I should, you know, take a, you know, a few hours or an hour one day and just be like, okay, what exactly do these things mean? Let's find out here. 
So like green is good, but yellow means be caution. Like for example, if you take your, like, your regular stoplights. So like this is what's the confusing part. So like I think this is supposed to be like you have your dual signal. So right now in the next track, we should probably slow down or proceed with caution because the train's probably like, if I look, let's be uh, center on the player here. So if I look ahead, what I should see is a train somewhere on the next section of track. Somewhere. No, nope, there's nothing there. So I don't know why they want us to go slow. We didn't get the emergency brake, so I guess we're okay. So that's good for us, I guess. Ugh. Don't know why it lags so much. Alright, let's put the a little bit more power to it. 50% throttle. And it's cool little. I feel like they could probably work on the smoke a little bit. I don't know. It looks okay. It looks a little purple though, if you ask me. And I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Like when it goes past you like that, it's not so bad. But when it's like in the distance right there, yeah, there's like a, a weird haze around it. It doesn't look very nice, but. The steam cell starts today. That's pretty exciting stuff. I'm pretty pumped for that to see uh, what, uh, what exactly is going to come out. Uh, maybe there'll be some uh, potential games I might pick up. I'll have to look at Train Z to see uh, to see how, how it works. To see if it's worth picking up or not. Or uh, if there's even a community around it. Like this game, like for example, if you buy the DLCs, like the number of possibilities in this game is just ridiculous. Like it's crazy how much you can actually get into this game. Uh, like even like I only have the base game, like I said before, and there's quite a few things you can actually get. So uh, let's just slow down here a little bit. No, slow down. There we go. Because we want 35. Nope. 35 miles an hour is our next little. I don't know where that section is. I guess it's up there. So as long as we uh, continue out of the nice slow pace I think we should be okay there we go yes there we go so that's where the next um, section is 35 it's weird though one thing I don't understand like in some of the UK like in some of the European sections you could it says like the speed limit is like a hundred kilometers for example or or 100 miles an hour or 140 miles an hour but in reality you can't you can't take your train through the section in that at that speed without you know upsetting people so i don't understand like why don't they just lower the speed limit so it says you know go at this particular speed uh and that will just be the speed that you don't upset passengers but that doesn't do that it just says here's a maximum you can do it if you want to but the passengers are going to get upset so that's why i don't understand so we're going to uh east vic right here and uh, we need to be careful because I believe we need to drop off our, uh, where's our task here? Uh, yeah, we just need to drop off at East Vic Siding 1. Which isn't this low section, it's actually further down than this. But, ooh, look at that little bridge there we went over. Nice. Pretty cool, I don't know where this is supposed to be actually. Uh, maybe in... California, I don't know for certain. But I do like some of the scenery. That's one of the reasons why I'm kind of like, I'm tempted to get the Canadian Mountain Pass one, because that would be kind of cool to check some of the uh, Canadian mountains out and all that jazz. So, All right, so that light is definitely flashing red. So let's slow down for that guy. So that's flashing red. What does flashing red mean, I wonder? Does that mean we have to stop and wait, or does that mean we need to just proceed slowly? I don't know. Let's check to see if there's any other trains on here. All right, let's look ahead. Doesn't look like there's any other trains. Oh, there's a train right there. So that's probably the reason why. So that's why that. So we can probably proceed slowly. So that train is right there. So that's probably part of the reason why we have to go be careful because that's red there and do we need to call ahead or anything no nope. all right let's go forward just a little bit and see what happens here I should really have like a reference sheet and be like okay this is what this means this is what this means 
I probably could find that pretty easily, if I'm honest. Alright, so, got a red light, it's flashing. Stop at, ah. What was that? Stop at East Victoria, okay, that's what it was just telling us there. That's flashing red. Do we go forward or do we wait? Center on the player. Okay. And this is where we need a, uh, what is it? Uh, Victoriaville siding one, which is this guy right here. So we need to make sure we have the appropriate, let's change that. And that's okay. I think we're on the right track now. So let's double check that. So this is East Victoria Sidingville right here. The very first one inside the train. And this is the hard, this is kind of the part you have to be careful about. Yep, we're going there. Looks like we're okay. So I guess we can proceed. I don't see anything that we have to do. So let's just go ahead and proceed with caution. And let's see what happens. Let's bring up this information. So we'll see if uh, the emergency light comes on here. If we've made a mistake or not. Because I'm not sure. I'm just going to get a sip of water while I'm waiting to see what happens. What does the survey say? Flashing red. Emergency lights? No emergency lights. So I guess that just means we need to slow down and proceed with caution. So there's the other train. And it's probably waiting for us, actually. I'm guessing. So we can probably... It says we can go 45, but the actual speed limit up here is uh, 15, so... Well, it's coming up to feet at 15. So there you go, East Victoriaville siding 1. That's no... That, at least that means we're in the right place. Sometimes what happens is... Uh, if, it's, if you don't see where you're supposed to be, it means you haven't set up the uh, appropriate sections yet. So yeah, that track, that uh, is right there. We actually need to slow down a little bit here. We're actually going a little bit too fast. Uh, what we need to be careful about is, of course, if we go too fast along here, uh, we might derail right along here. So if you look carefully, uh, you can see that it says 15 over there. So that means that uh, that's where we're actually going. Uh, we're actually going just a wee bit too fast still. So let's pull this out a little bit and check this view out. So there we are adjusting. We can probably take the brakes off a little bit. There we go. There's our other comrade. I don't know, comrade. I don't know what you call a fellow like train conductor person. Our buddy. Let's just call him our buddy. How about that? That seems fair enough. Let's put a little bit of gas on here so we actually go forward a little bit more. And what will probably happen is... Uh, oh, that's a cool little picture. I'm all about the pictures. Um, if you look, what will probably happen is as we pass this last little section here, we'll see the other train go forward. I imagine, at least. It only makes sense, but you never know, right? You never know. It's definitely possible. Stranger things have happened in this game, I'm sure. I do wish there was, I could hook up like some analog controls to this would be kind of nice because the digital, like with a keyboard, like there's no, like you can't put it up to a certain percentage very easily. You can do it with the keyboard to a certain extent, but it's not like a fine art by a long shot. It's kind of like on off. There's no like middle. So like I press the button once and it goes like from zero to 12%. So like, it'd be nice to be able to put up like a few percentages. So like, you know, you go to like, you know, 5% or something like that. So you have some power moving it forward, but not necessarily so much so that uh, it, uh, so much so that it, you know, puts us over the speed limit, but whatever. I guess you could have fiddled with the brakes too, I suppose, but. Yep, there he goes. Nice. So he was waiting for us to go forward. And now he's heading off. Very cool. Now let's get in front of the train here. It seems to be when I switch between like the front and the rear of the train, that's when it seems to bog down. Look, there's some Euro truck simulator or American truck simulator right there. All right, so we're on the right siding. Let's make sure the tail end of this guy is all the way in the siding so we don't 
block the tracks at all. And we'll get past this little section here and then I, I believe we'll be able to stop and decouple. And then I believe we have to pick up some other cars soon. All right, let's get just a little bit further into there. There's no like lights or anything that says, hey, you're supposed to stop here, so. All right, let's stop this right here. That's probably far enough. And if we go into the decouple view, and where is it here? Where's our train? The train is, there it is. Uh, five, so we want to decouple this. Cause I believe that's the other train. It doesn't say it though. I don't know how you're supposed to tell that. Five, four, oh, I guess you could. Uh, what button is it, eight? And there's five, two, okay, yeah, you can do it, I guess, that way. You failed to uncouple the second engine. Ah, oh, seriously? Are you kidding me? Does it say the second engine too? Five, two, five, four, it does. Ugh. Son of a gun. There we go. <laughs> Apparently I missed a detail. Oh goodness. That's gonna be a failed attempt. So look. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Oh well. All right, what's our next order of business here? Uh, East Victoria siding five, where is that? Uh, siding five, so we need to to the back of, okay, so we need to go, this is five here. All right, so it's the, uh, this one I believe, I think it's the right one. Uh, Cause we need to go, can I go that way? No. Okay, so let's switch that. And that seems to be the right one. Uh, let's go forward a little bit here. That was annoying. I missed a single detail. Now I feel like I have to do it all over again. <sighs> Whoa, slow down here. All right, so let's make sure we're going to the right place. So this is where we need to go with five, siding number five. Uh, I wish you could like hover over it and it would tell you which one it is. So it goes eight, seven, six, five. And it said to the back of it, so. There we go, I think that's right now. I think being the keyword here. All right. Uh, yeah. So we need to go there, go on here, and then switch out here. Eight, seven, six, five. There. I think that's right now. What does it say up here? What do we got? Flashing red light. So as long as we're going forward slowly. Too bad you couldn't like, you know, zoom out of here so you could see where your final destination was, but I suppose you should be able to notice this here. Center on the player. Oh. And then show task. Ah, well, we should probably stop then. What did it say to do? Right, to the back of 074's Express Freight. And where is that? Apparently over there. All right, so I guess we need to go. I was going from the other side, apparently. Um, all right. And set to the back of it. Uh, to the back of 0745. So we need to go not the same way we all right, now that we know where we actually are, that would always helps. So we want to be off this road. Uh, we want to go here and set to the back, that's weird. So if we go there, yeah, that should be okay. And the question is, where is that last car? 
uh, zero. This is the hard part. Like this is where like if you don't know what the heck you're doing, like oh, I'm kind of like right now. Um, and we want to go backwards, and we want to have a lot less acceleration than that. And then hopefully we go to the right spot here. All right, so we need to go and attach the back of that. All right, I'll be back when I'm finally attached to the back of that thing. All right, so we got it coupled. Uh, apparently I was just reading it wrong is what was happening. Um, I just had to uh, couple with this little section here. I thought I had to go to the back of it, but it just means to the back of this train. I don't know why I misread that, but there you go. All right, so you are midway through the track. So the next thing we do is stop at Thorn Siding, which is way down there. Uh, so let's sure let's make sure we whoop, have our track set up correctly. I think we're good to go. Uh, got straight through there. Uh, we don't want to go through that siding. I don't think it makes a difference, but don't need fuel, so we're just going straight through here. Coming down through here onto that main section. I think we're okay. Uh, I think being the keyword here. Let's see what happens though. Let's get it started. So we only have uh, another six, seven, seven miles to go, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I guess we're going across this little section here and going down the track, so we'll see what happens. And uh, need to be careful of other trains and whatnot in this yard, but. It's funny you. It's funny how easily you fail in this game. Uh, it's like you decouple one thing extra. Like oh, in real life you'd be like, you probably like the amount of time it takes to decouple a train. You probably realize oh we don't need to decouple this thing. Like in the game though, it's like you know you hit a button and it's done. In real life, it's like okay let's wait twenty minutes to do this. And I imagine in that time you'd probably realize it. All right, so what do we got in the lights here? So it's flashing red, so that probably means we need to be careful progressing if we're going to change tracks or something. I don't know. It's interesting, if we were to actually switch the tracks, we probably would get a different signal, I imagine. Let's see what happens. Emergency lights? No. Nope, we're good to go. Just need to progress slowly. It's weird how flashing red means that. Like on a, on a road, flashing red would be like always stop, right? Anyways. It's not the road, it's the railway. So we're heading forward. So as long as we get this going properly, so Thorn Siding 4. So we're going to go straight through here, straight through there. We'll be on the outside one then. Looks that way. Yeah, we'll be on the outside one, which is okay. And that means we're right here. And go straight through there. That means it should be okay there. And thorn siding one. Where the heck is that? Way down there. Oh goodness, that's quite a far away. Quite a ways away. Or it seems like that on the map at least. Alright. Still have 15 kilometers an hour, so let's go ahead and progress. Got all the cars over there. Give them a little bit of the horn. <laughs> So of course we need to make sure we don't speed because we've lost enough points in this game already. Man, as I, from the career standpoint, like I'm pretty bad at this game apparently. But I think most people are, and most people have a hard time on this game because it's not. It's I don't think it's meant to be easy, um, because in real life, you know, dealing with trains and whatnot is not something you should play around with because uh, <laughs> trains and crashes don't mix very well. So looks like a little diner over there. Use the 2D map to locate Thorn Siding 2. You need to reverse into this siding at Thorn Siding once you have come to a stop and siding 4 is scenario will complete. Perfect. So we're almost speeding, so we have to be careful. It does look like a little diner over there. That's kind of neat. Wonder what town this is supposed to be. It looks like palm tree. So I guess we're in California maybe or Florida. I don't have no idea. Can't say I know the states very well. All right, so it says we need to reverse into this siding. So we actually want to be on this 
little section right there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, I don't think we can actually control these things, no. No, those are just lights. I don't know what that actually means. R? Hmm. So I think we're still good to go. Don't know what that little beep was, but I think we're still good to go. Alright, let's check. Make sure these lights are good for us. What do they say? This is where I need it. Wish I had binoculars. Jeez. Uh, I don't see anything yet. Not yet. But you really have to, like, feather the throttle a little bit. I need to get, like, way over to their side. I don't know how this is going to work here. I guess in the end, you end up on the same kind of track anyway, so... There's only two possible ways to go. Look at that one. That's ridiculous. Flips you over their side. This is where we need to be right here. Uh, thorn siding four. So, no, that's good. That's good. So the only thing we need to be is come over it in this little line right here. So I don't know how we can do that, but that's what we need to do. Ooh, there's a diner. What does that say? Oops, not that. Another little diner. What is that? What kind of diner is that? These type of places you see all over the place. Like these are usually good. They usually have good burgers at places like that. All right. Looks like it's flashing red. So as long as we progress slowly, like we are right now, we should be okay. Let's see what happens. It's a slow progress. It's a simulation, right? That's the thing <laughs> you have to keep in mind. It's a train simulation game. So you can only expect that you're going to have uh, periods of slow things. It's a train. It doesn't move fast to begin with. So I, can, that's what I, I don't know. That's what I need to keep in, my, keep in mind. Like It's not like a race track simulation or a racing simulation where you have to go as fast as you can. In this scenario, you kind of have to be patient, which is actually sometimes harder than going fast in uh, some games, at least in my mind, at least. Uh, yeah, it's flashing, I think we're good to go as long as we don't go too fast. 35 miles an hour starts back there, that's good for us because this is, like I said, a little bit on the slow side right now, but very cool. Can't believe I made that mistake of screwing up that decoupling. Oh well, I could always go, I might go back and do it again, but it's a long scenario, actually. In the end, I think it suggests that it's 40 minutes, roughly. So we're coming up on the 35-minute mark, 37-minute mark now. So, And I cut out the first few minutes of the journey because I made a mistake uh, in recording. And I had to go back. Yep, yeah, we're good to go. So I guess we're still going over the joints here, the junctions. And we have to be careful because if you, I think what happens is if you go over the junctions too fast in real life, uh, what will happen is you'll uh, decouple your train and run into a whole bunch of issues, I imagine. So, too bad you don't. He doesn't. They don't show the the player actually like honking the horn there. That'd be kind of neat. But oh well. Okay, so past that little section, so we're going slow, which is good. Looks like it is good for us up there as long as we're going slow as well seems like it at least one can only hope it's still 15 kilometers an hour Let's put it a 12 percent throttle it's green up there now it looks like so we should be okay to go as long as we go slowly i guess this little section right here is to let trains go past and there's passengers looks like it's like one to three people looks like there's triplets there just waiting for the train that's random <laughs> that's really random it's like three of the same people all right what do we got green and red one of these days i'll have to look up what these things mean all right so we can go 15 kilometers an hour or 15 miles an hour as long as we don't speed too much there we go, green or red, so that means we we're okay to go. I think. Let's find out. If we see this if we see this come up, it means we screwed up. <laughs> that's what I've discovered. that's what I've discovered. I'm like, if 
that goes off, it means you screwed up somewhere. Where, it may not be obvious, but you screwed up somewhere. All right, 12% throttle, and we're going through a big mountain pass here. Pretty cool. Apparently we are, whoops, it's a little bit too much throttle. It's a pretty neat little section of uh, rock there. We can't look around. It's kind of cool. Ooh, what do we got up here? That's funny, they have this like free roam <laughs> situation where you can like kind of like move around and stuff. Not so bad. All right, so we should be able to, once we cross that little section, put a little bit more throttle, get this thing moving a little bit. Look at the water over there, it's pretty neat. Actually, oh, that water looks pretty darn good, geez. The rocks don't look so good, but the water at least looks good, so this is good for us. All right, so I'm gonna pause for a second here. All right, so we're back. Apparently people forget to turn their alarms off in their cars. And we're heading up a hill here. I have the throttle up 100% and we're actually slowing down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're doing a 1.5% incline here. And that's what's slowing our train down significantly. And we should check to see where we are. Center on the player. Okay, we still got a ways to go yet. Just wanted to make sure here that we're going the right way. And there's another 15 kilometer an hour section up here, or 15 mile an hour. It's funny, as I was pa I paused there, I was looking up train signal lights, and it's, it seems to be different depending on where you are, which is kind of annoying. But, that's besides the point. Every country's a little bit different, so like, that light there. Let's see if I can find that real quick. No. What we'll do is we'll take the throttle off a little bit, put it at 25%, because we'll slow down considerably still. Should do at least, but I guess we're not. Oops, wrong direction. There we go. So this will slow us down because we're going uphill. And so we have two lights. One on the top says red, one on the bottom says it's flashing. So I'm pretty sure in this context what that should mean is be careful. Let's find out. So is another train coming? Nope. Okay. This has a flashing signal. Pretty sure that means just slow down. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's flashing. This is where I really need a, an expert. Let's slow down a little bit long more. Okay, that's good. Didn't see any emergency lights, signals go off or anything. That's a good sign. Although now our train is slowing down considerably. <laughs> That's what happens when you're going up a hill and you see a light there. Can you imagine having to like having to go straight, like having to like you know actually stop for that? Like, I don't know. All right, so we are coming up to the next little section right here. That's a red light there. So we're as long as we proceed slowly, I think we'll be okay. Now, uh, hopefully, I don't see where the next light is. Let's just go forward here and let's see if we can find it real quick. Probably not as fast as the train. Uh, well, I guess we're not doing too badly. But still, doesn't make a difference, I don't think. So we'll keep it at 25% because we're slowly increasing speed, but not by a significant margin, so I think we'll be okay. Well, it's funny, sometimes this thing comes up, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't understand, like, is there a certain section where it has to come up? I don't know. Or maybe it's because, like, hey, you're a bad driver, do this. I don't know. All right, so we are, what do we got here? Just a speed limit, okay. It's changing speed to 15 kilometers an hour, so we need to be careful. So I guess what's happening is, um, we might be going on to the other section, and that's the reason why, because I can't actually change this at all, so. I can't do anything. So we have to just keep going forward and just take it easy, I guess. And we'll see what happens. All right, what do we got here? P, it's passenger freight 15, I guess that's, that's what it stands for. Yeah, this is the reason why we have to go slow because we're mert changing, going off the track on a new track. That would probably do it. Off in the distance. 
Okay, so now we're on this track right here. So we need to get past this next junction and then we'll be good to go. So we need to go into siding number four. So once we get past the junction, that'll be where we stop and we'll reverse back into the siding and we'll be good to go. And the only thing we screwed up on was, of course, uncoupling only not not only the one engine or not neither of the engines really what's we were supposed to do what if you can adjust the throttle better like this this is three hmm i guess in real life it probably would would work a little bit better Is there anything in between we can stop that? No, it just kind of skips between the two. That's a bit weird. It doesn't want us to stop in between. All right, so this looks like it's the junction coming up. Yes, it is. So once we get the last little section of track here, I'll we'll have to get ready to back up. So let's go to the rear of the train here and we'll see where we are. Then we need to stop and turn around. Well, you can't turn around on a track. Back out, really. All right. So, almost there. Almost there, and that car's going, alarm's going off again. I'm sure you guys can hear that, and I apologize for that. That's what happens when you live in an apartment building sometimes, right by the parking lot. You get all the fancy stuff like that. All right, almost past this next little section here. Once we get past this, we can stop and back up. And I think it's this one over here. I think being the keyword here. All right, where is the actual switch? Oh, there's back there. Okay, so as long as we get past that switch, it should be okay. So we can probably hit the brakes a little bit now, start slowing down here a little bit. And then we can hit the brakes just a little bit more. I think we'll do 50% now. Not quite 50%, that's a little bit too much apparently, because we're going uphill, remember Ian? I think we should be okay. There we go, that should be fine. Put the brakes on, and there we go, perfect. So now we need to go backwards and take the brakes off. 25% backwards, and we should be going into Thorn Siding 4. Beautiful. Look at that. So the funny thing about um, the funny thing about um, these types of areas is that you have to like fiddle around with it. That car alarm, I tell ya. All right, folks. There we go. We got into that little section there. And if you watch this far up until the end of this video, please leave a comment with the keyword car alarm. I'm going to stop it there so you don't have to hear that car alarm anymore. My name is Ian Robson. I have filled one or more parts of the scenario. What? Uh, my name is Ian Robson. This has been Train Simulator. Hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later. Once again, if you stayed this long, leave the keyword car alarm in the comments below. Catch you guys later.